Hello, this is Madeline from Madeline's Craft Room. And tonight I have something very special that arrived in the mail. I am starting to get my swap cards for the new mini catalog. And I received a card and I thought, mm hmm, I know what I want to share with you ladies today. And so if you are joining me uh, live, be sure to comment and participate with us, um, as well as if you're watching me later on uh, YouTube, uh, please do comment and let us know that you're visiting with us and, and uh, tell us where you're from. So anyway, if you do not know who I am, I am Madeline and I have my studio in Parksville, uh, Vancouver Island, BC, Canada, and uh, Madeline's Craft Room. Um, boy, oh boy, we got lots of things happening in September. It's just around the corner, and there's lots of uh, excitement around the new mini catalog. So I want to show you this swap card that I received. And let's see, I'm going to move the catalog just for a minute. So you can see it's got some adorable paper and how uh, she did this is she used the bundle for snowy days and this actually was made by Karina Chin and uh, from Edmonton and uh, she's one of the swap in uh, stamping the um, mini catalog and I don't have this bundle and what I wanted to show you because I like to share with you some very practical things that um, we've all got to choose. There's so many wonderful things in that mini catalog but we have to prioritize and choose the ones that we know we're really going to use and the ones we really 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 love and uh, I do love this paper and I mean I love everything but I had to choose just the paper. Hello, Jenny. There she is. So I decided I was going to get just the paper. And I want to show you that even if you don't have the bundle, as she has stamped this image and this image and these, you, you can use just the designer paper. And that way, you can make that beautiful card. So here's an example. So I'm going to put the card down here. This is the paper. So I can't show you inside the catalog yet, but I can show you the product. And so as you can see here, this is the mini catalog. And these are just some little papers just to give us a bit of an idea as to the colors that are in here. So we've got this beautiful, even a different color of the snowflakes. I thought that was quite pretty. And look at these adorable little snow globes. So, so cute. And then look at, again, a diff, kind of a different color with snowflakes, but I quite like that. And then look at these cute little penguins. And as you can see by these, these are all images that are very, so if you're not into a lot of fussy cutting, these are actually easy uh, fussy cutting. So if you look here at this one, this one maybe not so much, but look at how adorable that is. And then we've got, again, some trees, a different color tree, and then some plaid, kind of. And then look at these adorable houses and village scenes. Of course, you got to have a candy cane page. <laughs> and then, of course, our typical holly and berries. And on the back side is a lovely kind of peppermint stripe. So this is the lovely paper that comes in this bundle. And like I said, I do not have the bundle. But uh, Karina did, and that's what she has used here in making this card. So I'm going to show you how we make this card and give you the instructions. So this card is our normal card base size. But what we want to do is we want to score an inch and a half in. So once you've got that scored, then you're going to fold it to the outside and then use your uh, bone folder to crease the edge just like that okay now the next step where are my papers 
we have this strip of designer paper. And uh, this time, well, yeah, this is actually the one she used. I'm actually going to flip it and show you what it looks like on this side. So what we want to do here, and I'm going to switch around. I'm going to take my uh, silicone mat and we're going to put some adhesive. So again, whatever adhesive uh, you like to use best, I'm going to pick that up. And what you want to do with this, I'm going to turn it this way just so I can see it a little better, is we want to put this kind of centered so you've got even spacing all the way around those three sides. Okay, and now we've got this flap we're not going to leave open. So we need to glue that. And this is really simple because all you're going to do is put some glue there. Whoop, and then hold it down. Just hold it down there for a second. Okay. So that strip, by the way, was one and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. Okay. Now the next step, as you can see, we're getting closer to what she has here. We have a piece of green. What happened to my green? Ah. Oh, boy. It was just on the table. Oh, of course that would happen. I just go lie. Now, I should share that I am going to be posting a reel that I have done. Isn't that weird? Where did it go? And it is going to be with the reindeer paper. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hello, Wendy. There she is. So this is garden green because that matches with the designer paper in this um, mini catalog of, oh, and there goes a light. Boy, everything's going to happen here tonight. So I'm just going to move that up for a minute because I want to bring in my cut and emboss because we want to take this green paper, the garden green, and it is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So we're going to take that paper and do you guys remember this? This is an embossing folder that we had last year. Suzanne, love everything Christmas. Yeah, we're starting with some Christmas. <laughs> I got to show you the exciting stuff because I'll tell you, this mini catalog is unbelievable. So, so, so good. Can't wait to show you all of the goodies and get you a, a catalog. So we're sticking it in here. And of course, this is only base plate one and then the gray folder, which is for the 3D embossing folders. And we're just going to go through, sorry, it's going to maybe shake a little bit here. Put that off to the side and bring in our folder. All right. Now, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> yeah, I know you like Christmas, Jenny. All right. So now we're going to bring our card back in. So this is the one that Karina made. And so we're kind of uh, using that as our template. Now, Karina here had taken her green and you can see I embossed this. Well, there was a reason why I did that because the snow globes that I cut out, they all kind of have white around. And so I didn't want to put that white on a white because it would just disappear. So I'm wanting to put it on this here. So this is where you can help me decide. I cut out this tree. That one might be too big. Let's not put that. So we could put this big one on here or we could put some little ones. So which one? Which one should we choose? So the big and little tree, the snowman, the penguin, or the houses, which one do you think we should use? Let me know. Okay. And as we are doing that, I am also going to show you that uh, one of the things that I will start doing is sometimes when I have extra kits, 
Um, and sometimes they might be some retired, sometimes they'll be current. But I have an extra birdhouse kit. And I am going to say whoever is the third person. Oh, you're saying penguins. Okay. So say draw. And the third person that says draw, I am going to either give or mail out this card kit to you. So who wants a kit that you can just put together with this beautiful birdhouse? Let me know. And so far we have penguins and the tree. Anybody yet? Let me know. Hmm. Maybe we have to do it later. So here's the penguin. So if we did that, we will want to have a sentiment. So let's see. We could probably put something like that in there. You like the tree too? And Suzanne is one. Okay. Who's the draw? Everybody likes the tree. Okay. Looking like mostly the tree. Okay. Now there's one other option. Okay. Who wants the, the card kit? Anybody can answer draw. The third one to say draw is going to get it. Okay, now another option you can do is because we're using the bigger one, just like Karina had done the heat embossing here with Season's Greeting, I am actually going to stamp right on there. So what sentiment should we use? Let's see what fits. We could say... Oh, that would fit really nice. Let's try that one. So this particular one is called Peaceful Season. And this is actually one, one of two bundles in one of the suites. And you'll be definitely seeing more of that one. So do I hear another draw? Say draw and you'll be entered in the draw. Because the third person is going to get it. So well, I am going to say wishing you and yours, and I am going to just stamp this. So kind of put that straight so don't get it crooked. Wendy is two. Okay, come on. Who's going to get the kit? I'm just going to stamp that one right on the bottom, just like that. Okay, one more. Who's it going to be? So you can see, I didn't heat emboss it, but with that big globe, and remember, this was just cut out of the designer paper. So, ah, uh, do we have it? I think it's Suzanne. Okay, Suzanne, you're going to get that in the mail. So you see how I cut this out? And then that way you have a globe. So what we're gonna do here now is get this ready and we're gonna put this on here. So we need to put some glue or adhesive on here, just like that. Oh, I know what else I need to do that. I just thought of something. But when we put this on, we wanna make sure that we kind of have space, of course, evenly around, especially the top and the bottom should be pretty close to matching. Okay, now I thought of something to finish this off. It's Christmas. We need to have sparkle. So how about if we put our tree and we put some sparkle on our tree? Oh, well, we gotta get some of these little guys here too. So just like that, let's see if we could also just put a little uh, splatter. Ooh. 
Love with Costella. <laughs> okay, so now let's pick this up and see if you you may not be able to see it. Well, you may or may not be able to see it on the camera. I can certainly see it in person. So now I think I want to pop that one. So you'll see the card that I made in the reel with the reindeer paper. I did it a little bit different. So again, it's going to give you some more ideas of how to use your designer paper. Even if you don't have the bundle, you can still create amazing cards. So we're just going to put those in the garbage. There we go. And we're going to bring this in. And what happened there? Oh, lost the comments there for a minute. Okay, we're going to put this on here like this. Okay. And then to finish the outside, oh my goodness, ladies, look at these adorable peppermints. You've got these big ones, medium and small. I think they're one of the best embellishments yet. Amazing. So let's put some of these cute little guys on. So let's see. Let's put, there's an empty space there. Let's put one there. And where we put a medium size. How about put a medium size one there. And then put a teeny little one over here. So cute. Okay. So those now finish off the um, front. Now, where did I put? Oh, yeah, right in front of me here. Here's the white paper. Oh, uh oh, I forgot to tell you something. I showed you in the reel. You don't want to put glue here, so I'm going to wait till that dries. You only are going to put glue on half. I got too excited about embellishments, <laughs> but it's okay because this we can wipe off with the glue thing. And now our front. So we can now choose, oh boy, what are we going to do? Are we going to choose, oh boy, who said, there's somebody said, there's a little tree. Should we maybe put the little tree because then that kind of matches. You like this cute card? Yeah, it's pretty adorable, hey? So we're going to put this inside like this. And then, of course, we're going to put the adhesive on the back. Now, you will be limited, of course, to some extent with um, writing because as long as you stay within this, you can write anywhere in there. But you just, that wouldn't look as nice, of course, if you did that. So not a person you want to write along, unless you want to put white on the back. <laughs> yes, I get excited a lot, don't I? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I hope you can come to our catalog launch this time, Suzanne. Haven't seen you in a while. Okay, so there is our cart. Isn't it ever cute? So I'm going to show you a little sneak peek. Hello, Vicky. There she is. So this is the card that I got in the mail, happy mail. So love that card. That's from Karina. And this is the one we made here tonight. And you can watch uh, the reel because this is the card that I made in the reel. So you can see it's the same template, but I've just done it a little bit different. This one, I just cut him out and I put him on a spotlight on nature. Uh, die cut. So three ideas, same template, and two using just the designer paper, and this one using the suite. So there you go, ladies. I hope that gives you some more ideas and uh, gets you excited about what's to come. You can see that uh, in the back here, that display is starting to finally, finally get cards on there. So getting all ready for the catalog launch, which is going to be on September 19th and 20th. So if you aren't uh, on my email list, you can uh, let me know. Uh, let's see, let's get to the 
this one here. And uh, if you go there, you can also find all my classes, but you can also contact me and let me know and I'll add you to the email list as well. And that way, you know, when I'm having classes, it's the end of August. So it's coming soon. So thanks for joining me, ladies, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.